Hello, uh, welcome to the class of Advanced Stats and Econometrics. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss qualitative explanatory variable regression models. <clears throat> so, qualitative variables are nominal scale variables which have no particular numerical values. We can quantify them by creating the so called dummy variables which take values of 0 and 1. 0 indicates the absence of an attribute, 1 indicates the presence of the attribute. For example, a variable denoting gender can be quantified as female is equal to 1 and male is equal to 0 or vice versa. Uh, dummy variables are also called indicator variables or categorical variables or qualitative variables. Examples, gender, race, color, religion, nationality, geographical region, party affiliation and political upheavals. Dummy variable trap. If an intercept is included in the model and if a qualitative variable has m categories, then introduce only m minus 1 dummy variables. For example, gender has only two categories, hence we introduce only one dummy variables for gender. This is because if a female gets a value of 1, ipso facto a male gets a value of 0. If we consider self-reported health as a choice among excellent, good and poor, we can have at most two dummy variable to represent the three categories. If we do not follow this rule, we will fall into what is called dummy variable trap, the situation of perfect collinearity. Reference category. The category that gets the value of 0 is called the reference benchmark or comparison category. All comparisons are made in relation to the reference category. If there are several dummy variables, you must keep track of the, of the reference category. Otherwise, it will be difficult to interpret the results. Points to keep in mind. If there is an intercept in the regression model, the number of dummy variable must be one less than the number of classification of each qualitative variable. If you drop the common intercept from the model, you can have as many dummy variables as the number of categories of the dummy variables. The coefficient of a dummy variable must always be interpreted in relation to, referen to the reference category. Dummy variables can interact with quantitative regressors as well as with qualitative regressors. If a model has several qualitative variables with several categories, introduction of dummies for all the combination can consume large number of degrees of freedom. Interpretation of dummy variables. Dummy coefficients are often called differential intercept dummies. For this, so the differences in the intercept values of the categories that gets the value of 1 as compared to the reference category. The common intercept value refers to all those categories that take a value of 0. So if we have yi is equal to b1 plus b2 times fi, yi is wage and f female dummy category variable. Then on average, females earn a wage of B1 plus B2 and male earns a wage of B1. Note that B2 can be negative. Thus, female earns a wage that is B2 higher than males. Since wages tend to be skewed to the right, we might instead model a wage function as natural log of yi is equal to B1 plus B2 fi. In this case, female earns exponential raised to the power b2 minus 1 times 100% more than males on average. On average, male wages are equal to e raised to the power b1. The female wages are equal to e raised to the power b1 plus b2. Use of dummy variables in seasonal data. The process of removing the seasonal component from a time series is called deseasonalization or seasonal adjustment. The resulting time series is called deseasonalized or seasonally adjusted time series. 
consider the following model predicting the sales of fashion clothing sales subscript t is equal to a subscript 1 plus a subscript 2 times d subscript 2 t plus a3 times d3 t plus a4 times d4 t plus u t where d2 is equal to 1 for second quarter d3 is equal to 1 for third quarter d4 is equal to 1 for fourth quarter uh, sales is real sales per thousand square feet of retail space so in order to decisionalize the sales time series we propose as follows first from the estimated model we obtain the estimated sales volume then second subtract the estimated sales values from the actual sales volume and obtain the residual to the estimated residual we add the sample mean value of the sales the resulting values are the decisionalized sales values fresh work theorem by introducing the seasonal dummies in the model we decisionalize all the time series used in the model if variables are subject to prior adjustment by ordinary least square and residuals are subsequently used in a regression equation then the resulting estimates are identical to those from a regression which uses unadjusted data but uses the adjusted adjustment variable explicitly piecewise linear regression a piecewise linear regression is made up of pieces of two linear regression lines joined at the not or the threshold value could also have multiple piecewise linear regression with multiple knots type of spline function regression uh, represented as yi is equal to b subscript 0 plus b1 xi plus b2 times xi minus x star times di plus ui where x star represents the threshold value and d is equal to 1 if x star is greater than x d is equal to 0 if x star is less than x here you note that depending on the value of x star if it is less depending on the value of x star x can be less than x star or greater than x star if it is greater than x star then we have uh, beta 1 is taking value like d1 d is taking value like 1 so beta 2 will be taken into consideration of the regression equation and if x is greater than x star then we are not going to consider this b2 in the regression because d will take value 0 so in that case we can have two different regression lines and the result is that with this one equation basically you are having two different equations uh, combined and two different linear equations combined how you are going to interpret basically it will have two different slopes and uh, the slope itself is different if x is taking a particular value and if it is higher than that value the slope will be different that's why we use uh, dummy variable d d is uh, taking value 0 and 1 ui is the error term or the disturbance term here so you will see that if this is the model this model is called piecewise linear regression model this because this is made of pieces of linear regression lines and the point where they are joined are called not or threshold value and the reference for all this is a book called econometrics by example second edition the publisher of the book is Palgrave Macmillan and the author of book is Damodar Gujarati. Uh, that's it for today's lecture. Uh, thanks for paying attention.